A very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to the Sports SG live coverage for the 3v3b Division Boys Volleyball East Zone 3rd 4th uh, placing match. And commandating from the St Hilda Secondary School, we have the battle between the Geylang Medalist School and the Victoria School. And as my co-commandator is Celine Chin, my current national teammate. Hi Celine. Hello. Hi. So Okay, so we have the um, Victoria School in the red jersey and the Geelong Medalist uh, Secondary School in the black with a little bit, a little tone of red jer jersey, yeah. And they will be playing to the 11 points for each of the sets. Yeah, so currently what you are seeing here is the sub-team one for both the sets. And representing um, Victoria School for sub-team one, will be um, Sean Ng with the jersey number 7, 10, Louis Cheng, and 12, Harris, and lastly, 18, Beck Low. And for the Geylang Medalist uh, boys, representing the team will be uh, with the jersey number 1, Tyron Tay, jersey number 8, Sing Wei, jersey number 13, Richard, and jersey number four, 15, Clarence Chan. And... Geelong Medalist uh, boys will be serving first. Yeah, with uh, Tyrant at the service line. Okay. So, Sean to the spike, and then um, now Clarence, and back to Sean. And a controlled oh, spike. Yes, that was a nice controlled spike from Sean. And oh, that was a good attempt by uh, back low. However, the, um, the the spike was a little bit too far from the. Um, Sean. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was a fantastic spike from. Um, Sean Ng with the jersey number seven from the Victorians. So now the Victorians are actually checking the rotation so that they won't be um, fault, being fault for having the wrong server at the service line. Yep, so now Sean Ng at the service line. Sing Wei and oh, that was a nice sneaky attack from Sing Wei. Yeah, which brings the which brings um, Geelong medalists, the gems, to a one point lead. Lewis, Sean, and a uh, tyrant. Singwei, Clarence. Now back. Oh, that was a good. Nice uh, cover. Yes, that was a nice cover from Tyron. Yes, back. Now back to Sean. Oh, that was a great uh, block from Singwei. And now Clarence to the service line. Back, Lewis, back to back. Oh, nice. So this spike from uh, back brings um. Bring them, brings uh, Victorian, the Victorian one, st one point closer to the Geylang Medalist boys. That was an uh, in ball from uh, Clarence to the back part of the court on the Victorian side. That was a nice serve from Sing Wei from the Gems. And now they are at a three point lead. Great. A nice fight by Sean. Bring them to three to five. Yeah, he looks so um, relaxed, right? When he yeah. was smacking that ball. Wow. And Lewis with the serve. Yeah. 
now we have Tyron from Geelong Methodist Secondary School. Back. And then... Uh... Nice block by Back. Clarence picked that up and the set goes back to Clarence. Touch out. And the timeout was called is called by the Victorians. Um, by the coach. As they are um, they are four points behind the um gems. Yes, yeah, so Celine, what do you think that the Victorians should be doing? I think should um, improve on, I'm so sorry. I think uh they're currently at this point in time, their defense is actually really good. But uh, attacking is... I think they can improve more on their attacks. Like, show, show some of their monster strikes that they did in their warm-up. Yeah, so I hope that they can regroup and uh, catch up to the gems. Thank you. Thank you, Celine. Now we have uh, Hiram back to the service line. Back, Luis and Sean. Ooh, that was a good, great defense from um, Tyron. Oh, that was a really great defense from Tyron. Yeah. Back, Luis, Sean. Oh, yes, that was a nice sneaky attack. That was a great placement as well for that uh, tip over to the gems um, pot from Sean. Another nice block by Beck from Victoria School. And Sean back at the service line. Clarence with a tip, and back, attempted to, uh, did a, to do a direct attack, back to the gems. Now to Sean. Oh! Ah! Now the gems is actually at a four point lead against the Victorians. <laughs> that was a massive, 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 massive spike from Sean Ng. But that was a good setup from uh, his teammates as well. Yeah, Lewis. Yep. Now uh, back low to the service line. Good service. Good pick up from the jams. A nice push yes. by back down to the middle of the court. Yeah, I think the ball was a little bit too fast for the gems, right? Yeah. yeah. And now back at the service line. And now Sing Wei to the spike. Lewis back to Sean. A controlled spike. A very nice controlled spike. And... That spike actually brought them uh, a little closer to the gems, and the gems uh, has actually called a timeout, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, Sunny, what do what do you think that uh, the 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 gems should be doing to you know bring themselves to uh, to the set set point? Um, Since the uh, the Victorians are actually catching up. I think uh, the timeout that was called was a uh, good timing because. Uh, I think the coach might have called it to break the momentum of the Victorians. Uh, I think the gems, maybe they can 
uh, defend a little tighter mm -hmm. because the spikes are actually coming more towards the middle of the court rather than going deep into the court. Yes. Yes. Okay. So they can come up a bit more. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Still, uh, keep their defense tight. Yeah, definitely. I agree with you. Yeah. So let's see what will actually happen. Yeah. That was a nice spike from Sing Wei with the jersey number eight that actually brings the gems to match point. Yeah, will he be able to bring his um, team to the first set win? Yeah, for the gems. Back, Lewis, Sean. Oh, ho -ho. that was a fantastic block. From Clarence. Right, and that is the end of the first set between the uh, Jams and the Victorians with the uh, set score of um, 11 is to 8, with the Jams winning the first set for the first team one. Yep, so we'll be back. Thank you. So welcome back to the um, Sports SG live coverage for the 3v3b Division Boys Volleyball is Zone third fourth um, match, and now uh, the teams that are playing will be Victoria School versus the uh, Geelong Medalist School. And for the previous set, Geelong Medalist has actually clinched the uh, first set with the set score of 11-8, and currently they are playing um, their second set for the sub team one. Now, Sean from Victoria. <laughs> that was a, a really powerful spike down the line. Yes. Yeah, from Sean Ng. Back to the service. Sing Wei, Tyron, and Clarence. To Sing Wei. Soft touch. Nice. It's a, oh. ah. that's, that's a good save from Sing Hui. And back, a soft touch. Ooh. Nice. Ah, yeah. ah. Nice try from, um, from the gems. But yes. the, unfortunately, the point goes to the Victorians, which bring them to um, leading the set, actually, for now, for, with a score of 2-1. to one. Ah, a double was called for um, back low. Yeah, so as we were sharing previously, a double is actually a when the player contacted the ball twice. Yeah, at that moment. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was a really convincing point from Victorian from, from the Victorians. Sean Ng with the jersey number seven. Brings them one point lead again from the gems. And we have uh, Lewis at the service line. A very smart move by Sean, tipping it over after his two really massive spike. Yeah. yeah. Forcing the uh, opponent to actually move front and back, front and back, front and back, yeah. 
Now Sing Wei. Ah, that was a very strategic uh, tip from Sing Wei to the corner of the, uh, the court. And now uh, Sing Wei at the service line for the serve. Back. Lewis, back to back. Sing Wei, Clarence. Iron. Oh, that was a good block from Sing Wei. <laughs> that was another smart move from um, um, Sing Wei. Yeah, which actually brings the score back to a level. Or four against four, four v four. Yeah, four to four. I'm so sorry. Oh. Sean has uh, decided that, you know, he wants the lead. Yeah. yeah. He took that point back with a excellent spike. Down the line again. And so, I think as we can see, like, uh, based on the many spikes that he has, he's, he might be the go-to spiker, yeah. the go-to attacker for Victoria. Yeah. And he has a, a good control, actually. Yeah. Yes. And... Uh, also very smart in knowing when to tip the ball. Yep, I agree. Clarence, with a sneaky move. But Sean saw that. <laughs> nice. That was a nice control form. Back, back, low. The jersey number 18. And so, um, the jams section has actually called for a timeout and so uh, we will see you back shortly okay so um, so what do you think Celine yes. the gems what does what does the gems have to do you know I think um, at this point in time yeah, to catch up. they might be a little intimidated by Victoria because of the many different attacks that they have been showing yes. and I think mainly um, sometimes uh, it's just about the mentality knowing that uh, they can receive the ball and always having confidence in themselves mm. yeah yes I agree definitely Touch out spike by Sean yeah that was a really good control from him yeah, from all his um, different, different level of power spikes. Yeah. yeah. Now Sean to the serve. And Clarence, Tyron, Sing Wei. Oh, that was a nice try from Sing Wei. Unfortunately, the ball was a little bit too far to, to, in order for him to tee. Uh, a substitution called by Gilan Methodist School. Number 8, Sing Rui out. Number 13, Richard in. Yep. Oh. oh. Nice tip in between the players. Yeah, it seems like there's a little bit of miscommunication between um, Sean and um, Beck on who should be... Sean and back on who should be receiving the ball. And there was a nice tip by Sean. Uh, right after the three meter line, earning them another point, which is actually the match point where back will be serving. Will back be able to um, bring them to a to level up the set score one to one? Yes, so he did it, and so now the uh, that's the end of the second set for the sub team one, and um, both the teams have actually won one set each, which will bring them to the third set for the match between um, the Geylang Medalist School and Victoria School for Sub-Team 1. And thank you. So we will see you back um, in a while for the next um, set.
Hi, so welcome back to the Sports SG Live coverage for the 3v3b Division Boys Volleyball is zone third and fourth uh, placing match. So, commentating from um, St Hilda's, we have uh, Victoria School versus uh, the Gilang Medalist School, with uh, both of them winning one set each for the sub team one, and currently they are playing the third set. So now, Sean to the service line. Ah, that was uh, a double caught by the referee. So the point went to uh, Victoria School. Which brings uh, Sean back to the service line. Another double caught by the referee. And now Victoria School is actually at a three point lead over the Geelong Medalist boys. That was an ace serve from um, Sean. And a timeout is called by the uh, Geelong Medalist coach to uh, reorganize and re strategize themselves uh, because it seems like his boys is a little bit. Hands up. Yeah. Yeah. After the uh, second set. Yeah. So uh, let's hope that uh, they are able to, you know, after the timeout, they are able to regroup and reorganize themselves. Mm. Right? And I think mm. they might be a bit intimidated as mm. uh, the Victoria School, they won the second set. So they are riding this momentum. Yeah, that's right. So, I agree. Which is why I think. Geelong Methodist School can take this opportunity to regroup. Yep. Yeah. I hope that they can overcome the, uh, the, the mental, you know. The mental yeah. block. Yes, yeah. the mental block from it. Okay, so Clarence to the attack. Oh, that was a nice sneaky move. And um, they, he earned them their first point for the set. Yes. So now we have uh, number 15, Clarence at the service line. Yep. It was a good serve from uh, Clarence. Nice tip. Yes, a nice save from um, um, Sean as well. Ah, so that um, that was a nice spike. However, the spike was a little bit off the um, the court line, and it went out of bounds. So the point went to the jams. With uh, now they are currently actually checking for the rotation to see who is the server now. So now we have Clarence Chan. The jersey number 15 serving. Oh, there was a little, seems like there was a little bit of miscommunication on the Victorian side. Yes. Not knowing, um, not sure who should be the one taking the next ball. Yeah. And I think uh, Clarence has been really smart in serving to back because uh, it forces back to move. Mm. And cuts off an attacker, so there's only Sean left to attack. Yep. Yeah. But uh, now, due to the service error, we now have back to serve. Yep. With the score of 5 to 3. Yeah, that was a nice uh, touch out from Sean. It was a very controlled uh, spike that leads to the touch out. And currently, the, uh, play, the, the teams are actually switching the sides of the court because the score has actually, um, we have, they have actually, they are actually at the midpoint of the scores. Yeah. Ah, that was a 
serve was a little bit too powerful from uh, back. Yeah, and now uh, Sing Wei to the service. Sean. Ah, that set was a little bit too close to the net. That, um, Oh, that was a nice spike. That was an excellent spike, actually, from yes. Sean. Even though it was blocked by Singri, it went through his hands. Yep, and um, ended up in um, the jams court. Yep. And now we have um, Lewis to the service. Singri, Lawrence, and Tyron bringing the ball over. That was a fantastic spike from uh, back low. Yeah, that brings um, yes, the Victorians to a three-point lead against the Gems. A direct push by back from the hit that went to near the net. By the Jets. And now Lewis to the service again. Uh, and uh, a spike error by Singri, which brings the Victorians to match point. Yes, and a substitution has been done by the Victorians with uh, Lewis uh, and Harris, Harris being uh, substituting, substituting uh, Lewis. Oh, and that's uh, the end of the third set for the sub team one for both the teams, and with the set scores of um, 11 8 to the Gaylon medalists. And 5 is to 11 to the Victoria School. And 5 is to 11 for the Victoria School for three sets. So the Victorian has actually won the sub, first sub team with uh, the set score of 2 is to 1. Yeah. So, um, so, Lito, after watching the first sub team, what do you feel about the entire game? I think uh, the Victorians in the beginning of the match, they were a bit slow to warm up, which is why they may have lost the first set. But uh, I think that loss actually woke them up, and yeah. which is why they were able to get the lead in the second and third set. And I think the Ge Geelong Methodist, the Gems, they could have uh, wiped this, uh, get, gotten rid of the intimidation. Yeah, but I think they, yeah. they fought hard, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. Of I course. mean, having them winning the first set, which I think uh, yes. took the Victorians uh, vice prize. Yeah. And, yeah. Yes, and um, of course, um, once again, if you, uh, you want to know more about the fixtures or the results for the National School Games, please visit the uh, link that is shown on the screen now. Yep, and uh, that's all for the Sub Team 1, and stay tuned for the Sub Team 2 match. Thank you.
Hi, uh, welcome back to the Sports SG live coverage for the 3v3 uh, B Division Boys Volleyball East Zone 3rd and 4th uh, placing. And I'm Jody Lim, and with me is my co commentator Celine Chin. Hello. Hi, so uh, now we are actually looking at the uh, sub team 2 for both the team, uh, Geylang Medalists uh, versus the Victoria School. And currently they, are, they just ended their warm up. So, uh, Celine, so from looking at the warm up, actually, what do you, uh, who do you think will have a little bit of a height and edge above uh, the other? I think, um, based on the previous matches, I think uh, in terms of defense, actually, Gela Methodist has a really good player, which is El Nico. Uh, and, but I think Victoria School has this uh, explosive power that they have with their spikes. Yes. Okay, thank you, Celine. Now we have uh, El Nico to the spike. Zheng Yang, Ruben. Ah, that was an out ball by uh, Chi Hin. Yeah, with the jersey number seven from Gems. Which actually gave, gave the first point uh, to the Victorians. With uh, Joseph to the service line. That was a nice ace serve to the corner, to the... Uh, Right corner of the uh, the court on the jam side. Yep. By uh, Joseph Ng with the jersey number six from the Victoria School. Nice. That was uh, another nice serve um, by Joseph Ng, which uh, which is which is bringing the uh, Victorians to a three point lead from the gems. Yeah. Ruben Alnico. That was a nice uh, hit by Chi Hin. That uh, he pushed it against the blocker's hands, causing yeah. it to land out of bounds. And now we have Zhi Tong, number two from Gilang Methodist School. Yes. So. Zheng Yang. Ah, that was a little bit uh, too far from the, um, the, the court. So it's uh, out of bounds. So now we have uh, Zhi Teng back to the service line. Zheng Yang. Oh. That was a nice try. And uh, if you notice, actually, Zheng uh, Yang is a left-hander, which actually gave him a little bit of edge. Yes. Spiking from the right side of the court. Yes. Yes. Ah, that was a net touch by uh, Ruben. So the point goes back to James with uh, Zhi Teng serving again. Oh, that was like a, a str really strong spike down the um, directly down the court. Yeah, with the James uh, not having any time to actually respond to the yes. to the spike, yeah, <laughs> and that massive spike actually leveled up the score to four to four. Good uh, fight, pick up. Okay, now it's Ruben. Oh. A little bit too far off um, from the from the line again. Um, uh, it was caught out of bounds. So now, currently now, Jet, the Gems is actually leading the set yes. with the score of five to four. Shihin with the serve, picked up by Tsung Yang. And pushed over by Ruben into the court, earning them a point. And now they are tied at five. Yes. So now we have Tsung Yang, number 11 from Victoria School. So. Al Nico, Zhi Teng, back to Chi Oh, that was a nice touch out from Chi Hin once again. Yeah. And brought his, he brought his, um, that touch up actually brought his school back to the lead again, once again. Now we have Alnico to the serve. Nice cover by the setter, number yes. six. Uh, Joseph. Joseph. Yeah. 
Ruben. Zheng Yang. Back to Ruben. Controlled spike from Ruben. And now back. the ball goes to Chi Hin. Good defense uh, from Al Nico. Oh, that's a good block from Ruben. Ah! Good defense from the gems, actually. Yes. Yeah. Nice cover by Joseph to bring it back. Ah! Uh, and unfortunately, after the rally, um, gems yeah. earned the point. Yes. It was uh, one of the longest rally in uh, this currently as of now for the match, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that was. A a close, close one, and that's off. Yes. Now we have. Oh, that. A call was called by the uh, second ref. Now the second ref is actually checking with the table ref. Uh, who is the uh, actual server for the gems? And uh, it was the wrong server because I think the. Uh, I think Al Nico was supposed to be um, serving. Yeah. But However, Zitong went to serve, so now the point went to um, the, Victor the Victorians with uh, Joseph's serving. And uh, it was a good serve. Uh, and that serve actually leveled up the uh, score for the uh, Victorians with the gems. So Jody, yes. as you mentioned just now, Zhe Tong, mm. eh, Zhe Zheng Yang, sorry, yep. is a left-hander. So as a left-hander yourself, yes. what do you think makes it so different from a right-hander when you play volleyball? Okay, so basically I feel that, uh, you know, at, out of, um, out of um, maybe 10 volleyballers, maybe mm -hmm. there's only one or two left-handers. So we are not really uh, very exposed to having to block a left-hander. Mm. or to position ourselves to defend a left-hander's fight. So I think that that actually gives, actually gives um, us left-handers uh, mm. an edge above mm. everybody else when we are striking from the right side of the court especially. Yes. Yeah. So now we have uh, Joseph at the service line. Chi Hin, Zhi Tong, back to Chi Hin. And oh! That was an, um, the spike was a little bit too far off, which uh, actually gave Victorians a lead now. Eight to seven. And uh, Joseph earned back to the service line. Oh, Nico to the spike. Ah, that was a nice control. So if you notice, he actually controlled the spike and um, pushed it, guided it to the... Uh, to the le left, right corner of the um, the court for um, the Victorians, which was which was actually a very good placing for a spike. Yeah. Now we have Ruben and Al Nico again. The free ball back to the gems and uh, Al Nico to the spike. Nice cover yeah, by Ruben. Good catch. Good pick up from Ruben. Oh. And a nice block by Ruben as Ruben well. Again. Yeah, oh, nice uh, defense from Al Nico. Yes. Yes. Ah, the the setup was a little bit too far off from the uh, the was too too wide from the uh, the net and Zheng Yang pushed pushed the ball to the uh, antenna, which actually indicates as an out ball. Uh, timeout was called, but it's called by uh, the Victorians, the coach from the Victoria School, and um, currently now they are trying to regroup themselves as uh, they, has, they have been losing, uh, they have been um, making a little bit of errors for the past two points, which and actually brought the champs to the match points. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think mm. Methodist school, they are, they are definitely mm. looking at that one point. Yeah. Very determined to earn this set. Yeah, yeah. And the Victorians definitely do, they are a bit tense, as you can see from their expressions. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was a nice uh, save back from 
Oh, and that's the end of the first set. Yes, so uh, the sub team two with a score of 11-8. Uh, yes. With uh, the gems winning this set. And uh, yeah, so we will see you back shortly in a few minutes' time. Okay, so welcome back to the Sports SG live coverage. For those who are who just joined us, uh, we are actually uh, doing a live coverage for the 3v3b division boys volleyball East Zone third and fourth placing again okay, from um, St Hilda Secondary School. And we actually have um, what you are actually looking at the sub team two set two between uh, the schools Victoria School and uh, Geylang Medalist Secondary School. And just now, uh, you saw a monster spike by Chihin, earning the gems their first point. Yes. And however, after the nice tip by Victoria School, now they are at the service line with Ruben serving. Yes. And uh, previously, the for the last set, for the first set for the sub team two, actually the gems actually has actually took down the uh, set with a set score of eleven eight, while. Uh, for sub team one, uh, the Victorian section actually won the uh, sub team one match with the set score of two is to one. Yep. And uh, and we cheek into the spike. Oh, that was a nice. Um, that was a great tip. Where to the spot where uh, the Victorians didn't really expect. Yes. Expected the tip to 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 land it. Now we have to turn to the surf. That was a touch out from um, Ruben, from the Victorians. Now Zheng Yang with the serve. Yes. Oh, Nicole. Chi Hin. Oh. Nice spike by Chi Hin and leveling the score out to 3-3. Three, three. Yes, that was a great spike across the uh, court, towards the right side of the Victorians court. So now Chi Yin to the serve. Be Zheng Yang. Now Ruben. Ah, that was a good try from Ao Nico actually. Uh, he was almost there, but um, just wasn't there uh, fast enough yeah. to actually get the ball upwards. Yeah, because the ball went forward instead. Yeah. But it was a great tip um, actually from uh, Ruben with the jersey number eight from the Victorians. Yep. So currently now the score is uh, four to three with uh, four to Victorian and the Victoria School and three to the Galen Medalist. Blocked by a push by El Nico, but it was blocked by Zheng Yang, which earned them a point and a two point beat. Now Joseph back at the service line for the serve. by Joseph. Yes. Which uh, pressured the gems to call a timeout. Mm, that's right. So, Celine, let me ask you. Yes. What do you think that, you know, what, is, what do you think that the gems actually need to improve on, you know, to, I, to, to, to bring themselves up? So, I think yep. um, in this game, because it's only three players on court, so yep. um, there are 
a lot more holes in the mm. court where they can make use of. For example, um, the Victoria School, they actually tip quite a lot against the gems and I think the gems can actually uh, learn a bit from this, mm. like uh, tip to the corners of the court so that uh, they, even if the Victorians pick it up, they will still need to run for it and cut off this momentum that they have. Mm. Yes, definitely, I agree with that. Having a 3v3 compared to the normal volleyball games when we have six players filling up the court is definitely very, very different and it actually gives a lot of um, loopholes to the opponents yes. to, 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 to attack us, yeah. Yes. But of course, it's a vice versa, vice versa mm. to both the teams, yeah. So it depends on who can see the holes first. Yes. yes. And yes, we yeah. have a tip by Al Nico. She was a touch out as he has he tipped past the uh, blocker's hand yeah. of Zheng Yang's hand actually. Um, yeah. And now the point went went to uh, the gems with Al Nico at the service line. Yeah. Nice. Uh, that was another t nice tip from Zheng Yang. To the uh, center of the court, making use that the fact that um, actually Al Nico has to run all the way from the service line down to the front court to receive that ball. So now we have a substitution called by Gila Methodist School, Al Nico out, and Asher number three in. Yep. Ruben with the serve picked up by Chihin, and I uh, pushed it over by Asher. The oh. monster spike by Zheng Yang. Now they have they earn a point. And they are actually one step closer to their match point, right? Yes. This is one step um, behind from their match point, Victorian. A service ace from Ruben. Uh, the Victorians are now at match point. Then it's the fourth. Oh, seems like Ruben was trying a, a new service style. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he was trying a jump serve actually. Smart move by Zutong. Yeah. That was an um, out ball by Ruben who attempted a direct hit. Yeah. And now the service Zutong. is back to Gems. Yes. Yeah. With uh, Zutong at the service line, right? Yes. Yeah. For the second set of um, the sub team two, with the set score one to one, and now they are going into the third set for both uh, Victorian and v Victoria School versus the uh, Geelong Medalist School. So it's definitely a close fight, as we saw from the sub team one match. They also fought the full three sets. Now the sub team two, they are also going to their third set. Yes. Yeah. So. So Jody, yes. Um, during training, we've definitely played three versus three. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Uh, what are some tips that you can give to earn more points? Mm, I I think that actually we when uh, when we are playing three versus three, right? Like we were mentioning before, that uh, there was a lot of loopholes going around, you know. So actually, what we can do is we can force the opponents to go back and forth, back and forth. Mm -hmm. So we can alternate the spikes and the drops and the tips. Mm. And of course, when we tip, uh, we have to tip in a strategic, strategical um, spot mm. as well and not directly to the opponents. Yes. Yeah, definitely. So I think that by doing that, actually, you can um, get yourself an edge over your opponent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so now, starting the third set with 
Geelong uh, Methodist School serving. We have El Nico, number 20. Touch out by Ruben's controlled spike. Touch by Chihin. Now Joseph at the service line. Oh, that was a nice uh, touch out from Al Nicole. Yeah. Wow, he was the one that actually received the first ball as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And a great setup from uh, Zitong. For now, Zitong, the service line. It's so Chihin. Nah. Ah, it's a little bit far off from the uh, from the lines, the side line. So it was out of bounds. So now the point goes back to the Victorians with the score of uh, two is to one. With uh, Ruben serving. Nice cover by El Nico and pushed over by Tsutong. A free ball that a unfortunately ball. due to miscommunication between the Victorians, uh, Zheng Yang and Ruben. Ruben earn the gems another point, leveling it out at 2 2. Nice pick up from El Nico. Jin. Zheng Yang back to Ruben. And the point went to uh, Ruben as that ball rolled on top of the net, but it, it ultimately ended on on the jam side, when which the gems did not expect it. Expect it. Chihin. Oh. Nice spike by Chihin. Yes, that was an excellent spike. <laughs> Down the uh, court all the way to the back as all his opponent, the Victorians, was actually gathered in front. Yes. Yep. So now I'll make it to the surf again. With the level with the level score of three to three. Zheng Yang. A tip from Zheng Yang. And Chi Yin. Another tip. And he returned a tip for a tip. And this time around he got it. Yes. He got the point and now the gems are actually leading the game with the score of four is to three. El Nico is the soft. But unfortunately, it hit in the yeah. it was served into the net. Now we have Joseph from Victoria School serving. Yeah, the score is really, really tight, right? Yes. So, yeah. It's like one, one point to one point. I think both teams are definitely feeling the pressure. The pressure, yes, yes. definitely, yeah. Oh, Nicole to the spike. Nope. Zetong. That was a nice try from Zetong. It's a good defense for Al Nico. Chihin. Nice cover from jo Joseph. Joseph. Yeah. A free ball over to the jam side. Chihin. There's another tip. Oh, nice. That was a nice tip from Chihin to an empty spot behind the blockers. Yes, and especially when the Victorians might have thought Chihin would spike. Yes. Actually, tip. Yeah, because he has been tipping for a few times, actually. Yeah. Previously, so maybe they were expecting a huge spike from him. Yeah. Is he going to spike or is he going to tip? Oh. Chi Hin once again. Nice. nice. That, was a, that was a very nice uh, placement. Spike from uh, Chi Hin. Yeah, down to the corner. And now the uh, team is actually changing the courts as the score has reached the midpoint with uh, both the, with, uh, the coaches giving their plays and last minute um, instructions as uh, this uh, set is relatively important for the gems because if uh, the Victorians win this set then the Victorians will be taking the uh, third placing uh, but however, if the gems take the set, the gems will have another chance during the sub team three match. So yeah. just now we saw the monsters fight by Zheng Yang. Yang. Yeah. And now uh, we have Ruben, number eight, serving. Yeah, and only Cole, nice the defense. Pick up 
And a direct push. Oh, nice. Nice comeback from Aoniko. Yes. Okay. Oh, that was a nice block from Chi Hin. Yes. Yeah. yeah I think uh, Chong Yang didn't, be, didn't expect the T block to be there. Yes. Yeah, because he, he had a, a shock face actually. <laughs> and he's, when the block was there to uh, block off his tip. Especially when, I think it was really good when Chi Hin reached his hands over the net yeah. to block that tip. Yes. Oh. oh, that was a fantastic spike from um, Ruben. With the jersey number eight from the Victorians to bring uh, the Victorians school a point closer to the gems, actually. Yeah, now Chi Hin to the. Ooh, Chi Hin to. And Chi Hin with the great spike to the end line, earning them another point and pushing their. trying to push their lead forward. Now we have Al Nico with the, the serve. Yes. Ruben to uh, soft touch. Jin. Back to Zheng Yang. Oh! That was a nice try from Al Niko. And um, as I mentioned actually uh, during the, the semis uh, when I was watching him play, I actually think that uh, he, he has a really good spirit, you know? Yes. Definitely. But do not. Uh, do not give up spirit, even though maybe the ball is a little bit too far for him. Mm. But he will really reach out, you know, like run and reach out for the ball. And I think this is a very commendable spirit that he has there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So now we have uh, Joseph serving for the Victorians. On the call. Joseph on the direct attack. Oh, that was a nice. Oh. That was a nice pickup from Arnico, but uh, unfortunately it was a little bit too short for his teammates uh, to turn to reach. Yes. Now we have now the score is level at eight eight with Joseph. To the serve, yep. Out ball. That was an out ball serve, and the point goes to um, the gems actually to bring them a, a step closer to the match point. We to turn to the serve. Ruben, Joseph, back to Zheng Yang. Oh, that was a nice save from Aoniko. Okay, now Ruben, back to Ruben. Oh. A, a <laughs> that was a by monster Ruben. spike. Yeah. That fell right after the three meter line. Yes. And now a timeout called by the coach of um, the Victorians. To, um, I think is to let uh, Ruben um, reorganize himself as I think just now after his spike, it, he had a mini trip yes. over maybe his shoelace because as we can see, he's tying his shoelace. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, but you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and also, of course, it gives uh, the gems a chance to uh, reorganize themselves as well as yes. the score is really, really tight, level up at nice tonight. Mm. So now, at this point, this point that's coming up after the tight mount is actually a crucial point for both of them, mm. right, Celine? Yes, I yeah. think the team that wins this point will ride their momentum and they might actually win the whole set. Yes, I agree with you. So now we have uh, Ruben to the service line. Will he try his uh, new service again? Oh no, he's the, he didn't. <laughs> he tried. Yeah, so now Chi Hin to the spike. Oh, that, and that's a tip. What's this? Ruben, oh, it's a control. Oh, oh, okay, okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. So now, uh, Zheng Yang. Great hustle yes. by the gems. Oh, great! And a, a nice oh, great spike. Oh, oh. That was unfortunately our bounce yes. by Chi Hin, and now Victorious School has, has earned their match point. Yes, and the gems has actually called for a timeout. Celine, yes. What do you think the gems can do to actually level this up? Because there's no deals for this um, game actually, so it's oh. just whoever reaches 11 points first will actually earn the um, the set. So what do you think that uh, the gems can do? I now? think after that hustle, they are yep. definitely a bit disheartened because uh, 
They really showed great covering, but yes, unfortunately, they lost that point. Yeah. So now it's really uh, about their mentality and their mindset. Yes, I agree. I definitely agree with that. So let's see uh, whether the uh, the gems will be able to pull through. And oh, that was a service error from um, Ruben. Yes, from Ruben. And now we have Chi Hin at the service, service line. line. Yes, and whoever reaches the point first will actually take down this set, and on that will be the Victorians, Victoria School. And um, so that's the wrap for the sub team two, with uh, the Victorians winning the set score of two is to one, which also, in another words, um, means that the Victorians are actually um, has already actually already gained their third placing yes. title. Yeah, because they have actually won the sub team one and uh, sub team two. Yes. With the score of two is to one. Right. Yes. Yeah. So uh, really hope that the uh, sub team three. Yes. Will continue to fight on. Yes. yes Even yes. after their loss, I hope that mm. they they still have hope and take this as a learning opportunity and continue to fight with a strong spirit and I hope the Victorians, they also give their all even though they might have already won. Place. Yes, that's right. Yes. I agree. Yep, that's right. Okay, so thank you for um, watching for now. So we'll be back in, uh, in two. Thank you.
Hello, welcome back to the Sports SG live coverage for the uh, 3v3 B Division Boys Volleyball East Zone, third and fourth uh, placing. Commentating from uh, St Hilda's, um, we have the um, clash between the uh, Gala Medalist School and Victoria School. And currently, what you're seeing is actually their sub team three from both the schools. With uh, Victoria School actually winning the uh, both the sub team one and sub team two matches with the set score of uh, two is to one. Yep. And uh, they are actually uh, they, have, uh, they have actually earned their title for being the third in uh, being third in uh, the E zone. Yep. So I think now what we can see from even just the first rally of this hmm. match, there's really a lot of great covering. Yes. And running and hustling around the court. Yes, definitely. Definitely, I really hope that um, the gems will continue fighting yes. for the uh, for the match, and while the Victorians will continue giving their best. Yes. Even though they have already earned the uh, third facing title. Yes. Yep. So just now we had. Uh, number 13, Kayans with the surf, but unfortunately as it went out of bounds, now we have Alan, number 10 from the Gems, serving. So as you can see from this call, the call, uh, both the teams are actually quite neck to neck. Yes. A tight call of uh, two is to two with um, Josiah actually serving just now. And a nice touch out by number 14, Joshua. Joshua. Now we have number two from Victoria School, Hong Chao with the serve. Helen, Josiah, Daryl. And that was a oh, oh, uh, a little bit too far off from the court. So the point went to um, the Victorians with the score of 4 to 2 now. Now to Allen. Kayans. <laughs> Darren. Kayans. Hong Chao. Ah, a double was called by the referee against uh, the Victoria School circle, number two, Hong Chao. Hong Chao, ah. Okay, so now Daryl to the service line for the gems. A spike to the pocket of the court at the corner of the court corner of the line by Kayans. Yes. With the jersey number 13 and currently now at the service line. That was a good pick up from Daryl. Nice. Set up from Alan. Oh. However, the uh, the spike was a little bit up, off uh, from the outline and it was out of bounds. So it forces the uh, coach from the Gems to actually call for a timeout. And currently the score is actually at 6 is to 3. Yeah, with uh, the Victorians leading by uh, three points. Yeah, so they have actually uh, won their. They have actually already clinched the third, third title. Yes. Right, uh, uh, the title of a uh, third placing for mm. this uh, East Zone, and um, from their past record, the track record actually during the 2019, the Victorians was first in the zonals while uh, being in the top four for the nationals. Yeah, we they had a pretty good uh, track record. Yes. Yeah. So. So now we have um, Kayans with the service line, and but unfortunately, the point went to the Gems with a service error. And now Alan will be serving for Gems. Oof. That was a monster spike from uh, Joshua with a pretty setup from um, Hong, Hong Chao. Yep, it allows uh, Joshua to 
despite the the ball down the the court across the court. Oh, uh, a smart move by number ten Ellen to tip it right in front of the setter Hong Zhao, yes. causing him to have a bit of miscommunication with uh, number fourteen Joshua. Yes, definitely. And so now we have oh, Josiah at the service line. Yep. Ah, uh, that was a good serve from Josiah. Josiah. That uh, earns them a, a step closer to tighten up, tightening the gap between uh, the score. And currently, the score is standing at uh, seven to six with uh, Gila Medalist serving. Ah. Now we have uh, Hong Chao serving for the Victorians. The setup was a little bit too close to the net, so uh, Ellen actually stopped by the net. Uh, yeah, and the point went to uh, the Victorians. So a good control from Ellen. However, the uh, Hong Chao managed to pick it up. Ah, that was a smart move. Yes, by oh. Kians number thirteen. Yeah. To tip it into the front of the court, and now we. The Victorians are at match point, 10 to 6, with um, number 2, Hong Chao serving. Yes, will he be able to um, lead his uh, sub team to bring take down this set? Uh, that, was a, that was a great uh, move from, from Josiah. Yeah, I, now uh, we have Daryl. To the surf. Oh, and now, yes, we have Daryl to the surf. Service is yes. by Daryl. Yes, that was a nice surf. So, uh, timeout called by. Uh, by Victoria School to regroup and stop the momentum of the server and. Yes, from Jams, because um, currently now Jams is actually catching up with the score of um, 8 is to 10. Right. Yes, so and at this match point, uh, the Victorians might be feeling the pressure and this might actually affect their performance in the game. Yes, definitely. So let's hope they can get back their momentum that they had earlier this set. Yes, like keep their composure and uh, you know, take down set. Uh, so that's uh, that's the end of the first set for the sub team three match with uh, the Victorians uh, winning by 11 8. With the score 11 8. So, Celine. Yes. So, after looking at this, what do you think the Gems should do to, 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 to take down the next set or even to, to lead the next set? I think um, as because uh, many of these players they are, they are really hustling a lot, the defense is really tight on both sides. So uh, they can actually show a variety of attacks such hmm. as spikes and also uh, controlled spikes, touch out spikes and also maybe tips. Hmm. And maybe they can tip both at the front of the court or even push it to the back of the court to make all the players run. So even if um, to make them run around the court and to tire them out so they can actually uh, be able to score easier. And take an advantage of that, right? Yes. Yes, I agree. So uh, let's hope that, you know, the gems will be able to regroup and re-strategize themselves and uh, put up a, a good fight yes. in this set. Yeah. So that was a good uh, block, block pressure. For um, Daryl by the net. So there's a free ball over to the gems. And Josiah to set up the ball and Alan to spike. Oh, that was a nice block from um, Joshua. With the jersey number 14 that brings uh, his teammates, um, Kayans, to the service. 
Good spike from um, Kayens, 13. That uh, brings his team to leading the game now with the score of 2 is to 1. Daryl. Allen. Josiah. Back to Allen. Nice. That was a, that was a great spike from uh, Allen. Down the uh, straight down to the court of the Victor Victorians. Now we have number 12, Josiah from the Villa Methodist School serving. And with a spike error by Kayans out of the with his ball falling out of court. Yeah, and that was a good judgment from Allen. Yes. Number 10 from Allen, uh, from Gems. Serve. That was an ace up from uh, Josiah. From the gems. That was a nice serve. Another ace serve from uh, Josiah. From the gems. That actually brings them to lead the uh, set for, with the score of 5 is to 2. Good touch from uh, Daryl. Good cover yes. by Josiah. And pushed over by Ellen. Yeah, that was a nice block from uh, Daryl. Yes. That stopped um, Kayans from actually tipping the ball over to their side of the court. And now, the Gems is actually leading by four points. Now, Joshua to the spike. Ah, which was a little bit full, far off from the court, so it was out of bounds. And as you can see from the points, uh, the Gila Methodist School Gems, they are leading by 5 points, 7 to 2, and slowly but surely widening the gap between these two teams. Yes, and I think they are putting a lot of pressure on the Victorians, actually. Yes, with the smart serves. Yes, with um, Josiah. Serving uh, very strategically yes. to the individual players from, from the Victorians. Yes. Right? Yeah, and I think they really put up a good fight uh, and yes. holding on to, to the game, even though they are, uh, the Victoria has already, already uh, finished the third placing title. Yes. And I think that this spirit is really commendable mm. from the Gems. Yeah. So now we have uh, Josiah back to the service line. Will he be able to... Oh. And with the previous timeout called by the Victorian school, yeah. uh, unfortunately, they were able to break his stop momen the momentum. Yes, he was able to break his momentum from serving his serving streak. Yeah. So now, Daryl to the spike. Oh, that was a nice touch out from Daryl. Off the blocker's hand yes. of um, Joshua. So now we have uh, Daryl to the service line. Will he be able to bring his team to the match point? Yes! There was an ace serve from Daryl in between the two players of um, Kayans and Joshua actually. I think there was some miscommunication going there because they were like looking at each other. Yes. Yeah. Now, match point to the gems. And that's it for the second set of the sub team three. Uh, the gems actually has actually leveled up the set score to from one. So now the set score is actually at one is to one. So now they're actually entering the third set of the uh, match. Yep, so we'll see you back in a while. Thank you.
Okay, so welcome back to the Sports SG live coverage for the 3v3 B Division Boys Volleyball East Zone 3rd and 4th placing. Currently, you're watching the uh, sub team 3 from both teams playing their third set as both teams have won one set each from, for the sub team 3. And that was a, that was a nice uh, touch out from the uh, from Cayens, 13 from the Victorian. It's a nice serve from uh, Cayens once again uh, from the Victorians. And now the score is currently at 2 is to 0 to, Victor Vic to the Victoria School. Another nice serve by yes. Cayens. That was another nice. Um, a surf by Kayans. Yeah. I think the uh, pressure is on um, on the gems now because uh, they have actually made uh, they have actually made an error a uh, receiving error for yes. two consecutive times. Mm. And now uh, we have uh, oh we have Joshua to the spike. However, it was a little bit too far. So now the point goes to the gems. Now we have number 12 from Gila Methodist School. Josiah. Josiah serving. Yes. Tipped over by Kayans. Yes. Ellen and being nice fun. Fight. But ah. unfortunately, it went out of bounds. Yes. So now Joshua, number 14 from Victoria School, at the service line. So the point goes back to Gems now with uh, Daryl to the service line. Yep. And, Picked uh, up by Joshua and oh. un unfortunately uh, the spike went into the net. So now Daryl back to the service line. Kayans, Hong Chao, and then now it's back to Joshua. And defended by jo Josiah. By, by Kayans once again. Alan. Ah! Oh. That was a little bit too far. He tried a sneaky move, but the ball was a little bit too far from the net, so he was unable to push it and over. Yeah, so now the point is back to the Victorians with the score of 5 to 3 now. Oh, it's a good block. That was a monster block actually from uh, Joshua. And now it brings them to the first team to reach the midpoint of the set. Hence that's why they are changing uh, their cards now. Now the score, currently the score is at 6. It's to three with the with Hong Chao from the, the Victoria School serving. Ellen, Josiah, Daryl picked up by Hong Chao. Oh, so Joshua tried to do a sec a direct attack from the second touch. However, he was a little bit far from the uh, net. He misestimated um, the uh, distance between him and the net and he uh, tried to tip the ball over but the ball unfortunately did not go over. Yes. Yeah, so now we have... Kayans to nice the... Nice spike yeah. by Kayans. Yes, that was a great spike from Kayans. Um, with the jersey number 13 from uh, Victoria School. Which actually brings them a 3 point lead now. Oh against the gems. Now Kayans to the service line. Allen. Josiah, back to Allen. And now Joshua brings the ball over. Allen. Josiah, back to Daryl. Oh, that was a nice move from Daryl. 
which I think his opponent did not expect that. I think they were expecting a huge spike from him. Yes. But he decided to tip it over instead. Now we have uh, Josiah at the service. Picked up by Kayans. Set up by Hong Chao back to Kayans, but it was an out ball. So the point goes back to the Jams, and currently the point is at six. As the Jams is catching up fast, forcing the Victoria coach to um, call for a timeout, yes. actually. Yeah. So, Celine. Yes. So, watching this game, what do you feel? How do you feel? I think about the game. This game is definitely really neck to neck because both teams they are showing really good defense and definitely both are really being very experimental with their attacks, actually uh, tipping it to all different parts of the court and forcing them to run. So it's really exciting to see them scramble and hustle for the ball. And now the both teams back to the court we have Number 12, Josiah Serving. Ah, and a foul call was uh, called upon um, number 14, Joshua, as his feet went over to the gem side yes. of the court. That's why the gem. Score leveling up at 7th uh, seven to 7. And now Kayans is going for a spike, and he did it! He managed to spike through the uh, blocker's hand and um, earning his team another point. Another step closer to the match point, actually. Yeah, now we have Joshua with the jersey number 14, serving. Daryl, Josiah, Allen. Ah, nice. It was a nice tip from Allen. It was a smart move from him. I think he saw the loophole there and then he just tip it right behind the blockers. Yeah, and now we have Daryl to the serving. Service line. Joshua, Hong Chao and Kayans. Nice. Oh, it was a net touch by Kayans. And um I think because uh number two Hong Chao set it a bit too close to the net. Uh jump a bit towards the net in order to get the ball over. Yeah. yeah. So now Alan, Josiah, the Daryl. And it was a tip. Oh, it was oh, it was a direct attack from um, Joshua. From uh, his teammate's uh, defense from the tip by Daryl. And unfortunately, unfortunately, Josiah was unable to pick it up. And the point goes to Victorian. With them, with a neck-to-neck -neck score of 9-9. Nine to nine. And we have Hong Chao from uh, Victorian serving. Alan, Josiah, back to Alan. Ooh, it was a huge spike. However, he went out of bounds. Yeah, giving uh, Victorian an edge above the jams with a score of 10 is to 9. Uh, now we have point, we yes, have Hong, Hong Chao serving. serving. And now Alan bringing the ball away across. Joshua, Kayans. Oh, and the uh, third set for the third sub team with uh, Victorian winning um, the third set at the score of 11 to 9. And uh, as the Victorian has actually won all three of the sub teams, they are, actually, they are the uh, 2021's uh, third placing yep, for the East Zone Volleyball B Boys um, 3v3. Yeah. So, uh, congratulations, yes, to congratulations to Victoria School for Definitely. getting uh, third place in the East Zone finals. Yes, and I uh, think the gems, the, the gems really put up a really good fight. Yes. On their on their end as well. I mean, uh, Victoria School is not an easy opponent. Yes. To play against, so I think they really hustle and they they, they mm. put out a good fight and I, I really like their spirit actually. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I really like their spirit actually from um, hustling and all, you know. Yes. Forcing um, the Victoria School to go in the uh, second set or the all the first set. Yeah. Mm. And putting out a great fight. Yep, so um, stay tuned uh, with us because uh, we are, we'll be having the uh, prize presentation for the third, fourth uh, placing in a while.
So welcome back. So uh, welcome back to the live coverage from Sports SG for the three V three B Division Boys Volleyball East Zone, um, third and fourth placing. So currently we are. It's actually uh, the prize presentation for the uh, third and fourth placing, which uh, the match has just ended with Victoria School winning uh, all three of the sub teams with three teams. And currently, the, uh, the teams are receiving their medals concurrently. Yeah, so um, with, uh, by the sub teams, they are actually receiving the medals. Yep. So, yeah, so Celine, let yes. me ask you. So, after watching this game, who, who actually caught your eyes? Which player actually caught your eyes from the respective um, team? I think um, there were quite a few. Mm. For example, um, from Geelong Methodist School, yep. uh, definitely El Nico yes. for his defence. And yes, definitely. Really, you really can see him running around the court, just being everywhere, getting every ball up. Yes. So he de his defence really caught my eye. Mm. And from Victoria School, I think it would be... Um, I think it would be from the first sub team, Sean, mm. because of his uh, con his strategic attacks yes, by definitely. knowing. Yeah. And uh, also Ruben from the mm. second sub team mm. with his uh, also the strategic placement of balls mm. towards the front of the court to make his uh, opponents run. Mm. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Salin. So that's. All uh, presenting to you the prize presentation for the uh, 3v3b division boys volleyball is zone third and fourth uh, placing. Yep, stay tuned with us. Uh, stay tuned with us uh, for the boys finals at 2 2 30 p.m. between St Hilda's Secondary School and uh, Dunman's Secondary School. Thank you.